The Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria raised $14.25 billion Wednesday at a donor conference attended by French President Emmanuel Macron as decades of progress against the diseases are set back by COVID. It was the highest amount ever pledged to a multilateral health organization. Victory against the great pandemics is within our reach, but we still have a long way to go. 38.4 million people are still living with AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis infections are on the rise in Africa, in the Middle East, and Latin America. These are the realities we must face up to. We still have a lot of things to do in the coming years, and in 2030 we must keep our promise. HIV, malaria and tuberculosis must be gone. The French leader also vowed to continue to fight to lower the prices of drugs by investing 250 million euros over three years in the international drug purchasing organization UNITAID. I'm happy to announce that we will allocate an additional 300 million euros to the Global Fund over the next three years, which means that we will invest 1.6 million euros between 2023 and 2025. Since the Global Fund was created in 2002, it has saved 50 million lives and reduced the combined death rate of HIV, tuberculosis and malaria by more than half in the countries where the fund invests.